everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. Welcome back to Team Recorder. A lot of my viewers write to me and say, Sarah, I love playing the recorder, but my friends or music teacher or my family don't really get it. They say it's not a real instrument. What do I say to them? So this video is my response. I'm going to give you 10 of the many reasons that the recorder is an amazing instrument. And for those of you who I don't know yet, my name's Sarah, I'm a professional recorder player. Yes, it is my job. I earn my living this way. Uh, yeah. If you're someone watching this video because your recorder playing friend has told you to, hi! You might not know anything about the recorder and you might think it's just a bit silly. That's absolutely fine. There's no reason why you should know about it. But uh, thank you for watching and I'm here to tell you and maybe you'll love it soon. Number one, the recorder is not just one instrument but a whole family of different sizes. And in principle, if you can play one, then you can play them all. Most of us are familiar with the soprano recorder. But it goes down to the teeny tiny Gartlein recorder. All the way to the giant sub contra bass. One of my favourites to play is the bass recorder. So it's not only high and squeaky, the range of sound you can make is huge. Number two, you can play literally any sort of music on the recorder. The instrument is really old. The first recorder-like instruments uh, that have been discovered are actually 40,000 years old. This means that we see the recorder in all periods of history, classical, folk, jazz, pop, medieval, baroque, experimental, anything goes. Number three, the recorder is incredibly flexible. <laughs> Because it doesn't have any keys or a reed or an embouchure, it's really responsive and that actually makes it one of the fastest instruments you can play. That also means it can be really flexible in terms of pitch and articulation. Now because it doesn't have any keys or anything to help you, that actually means that you have to control everything yourself. Um, it's difficult but it's rewarding and it's this element of danger that I like. Four, the design of the recorder looks simple but it's not. It looks like a stick with some holes in it basically. The bore, that's the hole down the middle, isn't straight but it's actually shaped in different widths all the way down. Whew, we can look inside a recorder here. The holes are actually all angled to give the exact right tuning of each note. And up here in the head joint, all of this is carefully shaped in minute detail to make sure that the air is directed exactly onto this ridge here, because that's what makes the sound. This is all such precision work that handmade recorder builders spend their whole lives honing this craftsmanship. And unsurprisingly, the recorder has changed a lot over the centuries. <laughs> Even modern recorders, this thing is a recorder. Number five, a lot of people say, oh, but the recorder's not in the orchestra. While it's true that you don't find the recorder in a romantic symphony orchestra, you do find a lot of recorders in Baroque orchestras. That's just a bit earlier, and I think it's beautiful music. There are a lot of recorder concertos where the recorder player is a soloist with the whole orchestra as their own personal accompaniment which is pretty fun. <laughs> Number six, if you're into classical music, a lot of the big name composers have written from recorder. We have Bach and Vivaldi and Berio, and actually there's loads, so I'm just gonna kind of list a bunch here. If you're more into popular music, a lot of the big names have used the recorder as well. From the Beatles up to today, I'm gonna list another load of names. <laughs> Number seven, why would these people want to use the recorder? Well, apart from being a beautiful and expressive melody instrument. It's also capable of playing a lot of special effects. recorder players tend to be very creative. <laughs> Number eight is something really special. 
Now, because the sound of the recorder is so pure, when you play two notes, the sound waves actually interact to create a third tone called a difference tone. Uh, I'm just gonna try and play this for you. So I'm gonna combine the notes You should be able to hear the difference tone going So when you have recorders playing together, their sound is actually multiplied by natural acoustics. And this is, ah. Oh. Number nine, historically the recorder has enjoyed a really high status. Many monarchs were big recorder fans. Uh, King Henry VIII of England was a bit obsessed with the recorder and he had a collection of over 50 handmade instruments. Of course handmade because it was the 16th century. So you heard recorders all over the royal courts, also in France with uh, Louis XIV, the Sun King. So back then the recorder was a really high status instrument. Which brings me to today, number 10. The recorder is played at a high standard by thousands of people all over the world to just as high a level as any other instrument. You can study the recorder up to masters or even PhD level at conservatoires all over the world and today there are hundreds if not thousands of professional recorder players earning their money and making their careers with this instrument. So yeah, those are some of the reasons that I love the recorder. If you have some more, please leave them in the comments below. I wanna say I hear a lot from people that they see the recorder as an easy or as a children's instrument. I know from my experience that it's definitely not easy. And this thing of being a children's instrument, well, I want you to think back to all the things that you learned when you were six years old. Reading, writing, maths. You know, just because you start learning something when you're a child doesn't mean it's childish. I'm gonna leave some links in the description to some YouTube videos of some of my professional colleagues that I think are beautiful performances you can go and listen to. So that's it. As always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here. Down here is a link to the Team Recorder Patreon where you can support the channel. In the description is a link to my web shop where you can buy my album or Team Recorder merch. And up here is a link to things people say to recorder players. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.